Have you ever wondered what this is in with your Bernina 570 Quilters Edition? Well, this is called the Bernina Freehand System. So it isn't to run the machine. It's not a foot control, but it actually is a way for you to use your right knee to lift and lower the presser foot. Now, I will tell you, in my many years of sewing with Bernina, I have used this for years. But with the invention of the needle uh, stopping in the down position and the foot popping up and hovering, which this machine has that setting, I don't use it as much as I probably could or should. The machine really does a lot more of that automatically. But there's those of you who will find that this is more the control that you are looking for. So first off, it does fit into this opening. That's what that little symbol's for. And it kind of goes in about 6.30, uh, that angle, 6.30, 7 o'clock. And with that pushed all the way in, right now my presser foot is in the up position, in the locked up position. So I want to show you how I would be using this and what I would do to get the most benefit. Now, we do a lot of things on curves, like the Bernina Stitching Cosmos online course is all curves. So every time I need to kind of pivot oh so slightly, I'm stopping with the needle down, letting that foot pivot up, and then turning my fabric a little bit. Well, that all takes time. So if you would like to have a little bit more control, then the freehand system might be exactly what you're looking for. So you're going to, I'm going to point out when I'm using this and then you'll need to watch at the uh, foot what it's actually doing. I've also taken the function off where when I do stop with the needle in the down position that that foot comes up. And I've taken the thread out of the machine just so I can show you the fundamentals of this without actually sewing something. So first off, you know, pushing this button to lower the presser foot, if you want to do it more with the presser foot lifter, take your right knee and push all the way over until you kind of hear a little click. And so when it goes all the way over, it lifts it a little higher, which is great if you have a lot of thick items you're working on and get that foot to come all the way up. And then you can just lift it oh so slightly and then shift your fabric. Then when you're ready to sew, release your knee from this bar and then begin to stitch. Now the only thing is, is a lot of us are used to sewing with our right foot. Foot. And so doing this and sewing with our right foot becomes and can be where you're trying to do both at the same time. So one thing I learned many years ago was to actually move my foot control to be over here by my left foot. So that's actually what I'm going to be sewing. So when I go to sew and I'm sewing, then that way when I'm done and my needle stops down, I just use my right knee to do that little pivoting. And then I can sew a little bit and then my right knee. Now, the funny thing is, is your two legs won't do that same operation at the same time. It's just, it's like near impossible, um, unless you try it on purpose. But all in all, when I lift my foot, and then I lower, and so, they stay separate. You try to do it in the same foot, that's what we're avoiding. It, they kind of tr try to do it at the same time. So, when you're stitching, that little, that ability to lift the foot up, pivot, um, adjust for thickness, uh, allows you to have a lot more control. And then again, when you're ready, you can bring your needle up and you can lift the presser foot up and slide your fabric out. Now watch what happens. If you are using this, you will find that your foot will come back to rest on the throat plate and that's normal. So it doesn't ever lock it back up. You would have to physically touch the button for it to go back up, but that's no problem. This is like an industrial type of setup. So when I go to sew, all I do is push a little bit on my knee, just enough to lift the foot so I can slide my fabric in, lower it down, and start to stitch. That is so smooth. Look my, where my hands are. I don't have to do anything else. And then when I'm stopping, I can, my foot is holding the fabric, which is good if I don't need it to be pivoted. It's down and in place. And then when I do need to actually turn a corner, turn a curve, it is all easy to do, all with my right knee. So try those two tricks. Number one, sewing with your left foot. Trying your presser foot lifter. Turn off that automatic lift feature and see if you are a more efficient 
sewer with this particular system. So I'm so glad Bernina left it in. Um, it is a mechanism that runs all the way across the bottom because it does lower the feed dogs when you are uh, using it. So they lower and then also that it lifts the foot. So and then that runs all the way up through the top of the machine. So it is a integrated item and it is something that Bernina has had for years and they still have it today on the Bernina 570. Now, if you're interested in any of the Bernina Stitching Cosmos online course where we do all your decorative stitches, plus play with over 18 different Bernina presser feet, check out the links below and check out the 10 videos that you can preview for free to see if this course would be right for you.